I have hair, so do you probably, unless you were bald. Though, I think that still counts as a hairstyle if it was a choice. If not, just grow a beard and you'll look like a wrestler or a viking. Gaming exists in a world without such choices being necessary, as it seems any hairstyle gets a pass. This has resulted in some truly crazy creations that must have been the combination of some twisted artist's mind and the developer's ball aching quest to be unique and stand out amongst the crowd. We're going to take a look at the most insane hairdos games have spewed out over the years. So sit tight and welcome to the top 5 most insane hairstyles in gaming. Yellow, blue, green, red, orange, any colour seems to be permissible if it originates from Japan. This type of hairstyle exists mostly in games made in the Kingdom of the Rising Sun, having a very clear anime influence. Developers took the hairstyles seen in those shows and exaggerated them even more, seemingly asked the question, how can we make this more pointy? Characters like Cloud Strife must spend an age in front of a mirror to get those spikes that uniform every day. It must cause some real issues in camp when he's spending four hours with a pot of hair gel before every battle when Barrett needs a poo and he's using the only bathroom. How inconsiderate. I have to imagine that in the world of anime games, their hair just exists like that. The thought that Seymour from Final Fantasy X went to a hairdresser and asked him to fashion his hair like this is beyond hilarious. My absolute favourite is Ashley Riot's from Vagrant Story on the PS1. It defies all logic and gravity and gives him the look of an effeminate devil rather than a heroic adventurer. He must be constantly getting those toilet bits caught in branches and trees, though with the amount of product I imagine he used, it probably slices right through the wood. Before a big fight, you need two things, a protein shake and 42 cans of hairspray. Making Jedward look relatively normal, the supersized flat top sported by characters like Paul Phoenix from Tekken and Benny Maru from King of Fighters must be an absolute chore to get right before a fight, with nary a hair going loose during the ensuing battle. This one is particularly funny, because it's basically possible in real life with enough tresemme leading to some of the most unintentionally hilarious cosplay costumes ever. Some things just don't look cool when translated from the digital landscape to our own, and this hairstyle is one of them. Before the fans tear me a stinky one, I should mention that Benny Maru's hair actually stands up like that due to static electricity produced by his unique powers. Well then. You've only got two arms and two legs, and that is a problem when you are fighting someone else with two arms and two legs. You need an advantage, and there is one clearly obvious way of doing this. Use your hair as a weapon! Used by characters such as Adenia and Queen Sindel in Mortal Kombat and Milia Rage from Guilty Gear, it can be used to great effect, knocking and throwing your opponents all over the place. Of course, the hair will need far more tensile strength than it originally had so that it doesn't rip out the moment you wrap it around anyone, but I'm sure you can get some shampoo down Holland and Barrett that will enrich your hair accordingly. The most impressive utiliser of this hairdo is Bayonetta, the brunette angel slaying witch that not only creates her entire outfit out of hair, but can also use it to summon demons, giant fists and feet, and even giant frog monsters. My only question is this, it must be a nightmare to wash, constantly rubbing around in the dirt and grime of warfare, imagine the grease that must end up in her shower basin. I hope she has some silic bang, because those will be some tough to remove stains. The only thing better than having hair that is your weapon, is one that takes an active interest in your career. DJ Professor K's beats are so funky, that not even his hair can resist grooving along, bouncing in rhythm as he spins his discs. With a guy this cool, he probably doesn't even have to plan it, I just assume it's been that way since birth. The star shaped treads that adorn his head are probably the best example of a hairstyle that perfectly complements a profession. I can't imagine any DJ in the world turning down this look. This hair just wouldn't work in real life, as 50% of the charm comes simply from the way it moves. Unfortunately, in the Xbox sequel to Jet Set Radio, or Jet Grind Radio for those in some nations, it was toned down, made shorter and grey due to his advanced stage, and worst of all, no longer moved. I only hope if they ever make a Jet Set Radio 3, his luscious locks will be front and foremost, return to their frolicking glory. All rules of physics and the universe are broken by Gile's legendary hairdo, the bright blonde V-shaped flat top that curves outwards at the sides and seemingly gets bigger every time you look at it. When he's fighting in the streets, he spends most of his time doing flash somersaults, and yet never a hair strays from its intended position. I have to think this isn't because of any product, but his sheer manliness that keeps it up. His muscles are just too buff that his hair can't help but retreat in awe at the sight of the rest of him. Kyle stands out amongst the rest of the initial world warriors that all have relatively sane appearances, and was apparently intended as a character that would appeal more to western audiences, hence the over-stereotypical American image filtered through a Japanese perspective, given the insane cultural deformation we have grown to love over the years. The features on this list are what make gaming special. Designs this varied just don't exist in other mediums, and the truly global level of modern gaming means that we are constantly getting new oddities served up to us on a plate that we can all enjoy. 
I hope you enjoyed this little list. I'll be back making these videos far more regularly now, so if you enjoyed, do give us a comment and a subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, or characters that you put on this list, let me know in the section below. Goodbye!